players in, in actually doing the research and development as to what had gone wrong with him uh, over the years, why the current coatings were failing, and what was necessary to do a, a really thorough and complete restoration that is going to last uh, for years to come. So Paul was built uh, back in 1959, originally for the Oregon uh, Centennial Celebration. He was the greeter uh, to, to, to Portland, people coming in from the north on, on Interstate Avenue back before I-5 existed. Uh, he was built really just to be a, a temporary sculpture uh, to last the duration of the, of the exposition and no longer, but the neighborhood fell in love with him so much that they decided to keep him. The community response as we were doing it was really positive. That encouragement along with the, the donations we received along the way, it just really kept momentum up for the whole project. Working on something this massive of a scale uh, required so much time, uh, so many uncomfortable positions, wearing a harness that was super heavy, and working in crazy hot temperatures literally every day. Uh, super unexpected. People would come by with like grandparents with their like grandchildren and parents and just come and talk to us and thank us for restoring Paul. You know, it's been a really neat uh uh, neat experience to be to be part of the neighborhood and and to become even more of, the, of a part of this neighborhood through the restoration of this beloved icon. Um, you know, people really care about about Paul Bunyan, so it's it's been really rewarding to just uh, to connect with with our neighbors and friends in that way. 